Someone had mentioned that, like you're you're here because I have an idea and you have to make it happen. And I was like, okay, that's that's true. My name is Arturo Fuentes II, and I'm a local artist. What originally got me into art was um, watching my dad work. Uh, he's an architect and he was an interior designer. And I think almost every day he would bring something home, which was drawing um, or even building small models, which is really cool. I would just sit there and watch him for hours and hours while he would just draw like floor plans and, and uh, building facades and things like that. I just, he had all the art supplies I could ever need. It makes me happy, like genuinely makes me happy. Like. Some people like to read. I like reading too, but I don't know. It's something about putting uh, a surface to paper and creating something out of nothing. It's um, a basic instinct, I guess. It's just something I do when I get up to like convey my emotions or what's on my mind or, or a thought, uh, an idea. It's just to birth something out of nothing. Just to make something. Because I mean, yeah, we're, we create everything artists i probably could have been at a different level than i was now but i don't know i had people discourage me a few times and like tell me that there's no money in art and the world lives off of it honestly like there would be nothing without art music is art you know like uh, photography is art you know everything if just just make sure you do what you love i guess i want something to outlive me in a way like you know but people will still kind of be able to pick at my brain in the end like, damn, what was this guy thinking? Oh, good thing he like wrote it out for us in a map, technically. Like, here's a, look at this guy right here who's sad this day, like he was happy this day. The colors and all the palettes really do tell a story. Like, if people can't tell how I'm feeling. I also do it to be eternal, kind of. Cause like, no matter what, this is always gonna last. As long as there's someone to like hold on to it, no matter how long I'm gone for, there's always gonna be a piece of me like laying around. I don't know, I just remember being a kid and I watched a lot of cartoons, probably more than the ordinary person and I read comic books and I had my dad's artwork to like look at and stuff because he also did paintings. I had so many influences from like um, comic books, mainly The Punisher, but a lot of Marvel. Um, Andy Warhol, I had MC Escher. We have the Dirty Donnie Gillies who has a very uh, similar style to like uh, uh, Big Eddie Roth, which is really cool. Uh, Salvador Dali, I like a lot of his work. Um, just a lot of old school 50s horror comics too. The fonts that he used was really interesting. Good storytelling too. I mean, Batman the Animated Series. I can go on forever about all the things and, and, and characters and artists that influenced me, honestly. I just love that uh, it's it's like a literal expression of what your mind is uh, thinking or, 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 or feeling, you know? Like you could, you could pretty much print your brain onto paper using your hands, which is something that, I mean, a lot of people take for granted. Like, I did mention my dad had all the art supplies and stuff handy. Like, I, I used to love using the markers, but when it came down to it, I was a paper and pencil kind of kid. I always had an abundance of paper, always had an abundance of pencils at the house. My dad was a draftsman, an architect, pretty much the same thing, you know. But at the time, he was just a, a technical draftsman before he was an architect. And everything was pencil. He had, the, um, you know, the, the French curves, the, all the straight edges, the triangles. And uh, that's pretty much how I did everything until the digital breakthrough, which was like a huge relief because I didn't have to go and draw something by hand and color it or or draw it by hand, scan it, put it in the computer, then try to darken the lines and then fill it with color and do all this and that. Yeah, even in high school, I would get paid to do like logos and stuff, but back then it was more about like drawing it out, giving it to the person, they scan it and then have someone fix it. Now it's literally like if I have an idea, I could sketch it on the iPad. I could uh, ink it in the iPad, I can color it in the iPad, and I'm done. Like, to me, that literally saves like eight hours, which, I mean, in the long run, I guess it sucks when I'm like charging clients by the hour, but <laughs> all jokes aside, I mean, it really makes everything better, like so much better. Don't listen to anybody that tells you not to do art. Just keep doing art, because then you're actually gonna do something with it. Otherwise, you're just gonna, it'll be like a hobby, and then it'll be something you just do in between jobs or something, and then it'll be something you don't do at all. And that's something that, you know, I kind of got scared that I would always, you know, lose it maybe. But I mean, kind of goes back to my skate thing is uh, 
If you love something, you always have time for it. You'll always find time for it. So just find time for the things you really love. And if art is one of those things, put some major time in that. And then you'll, you'll, you'll see what comes from it. It'll come back tenfold. You can find me and contact me at art.studios.1 on Instagram. And you can also email me at ArturoFuentes1589 at gmail.com.